It's dart time. What's up, guys? MTG Jedi here. Shard pull day because they finally put the void pack string in the shop instead of these trash offers. So we are going to never buy this again. Uh, and what we're going to do is we're going to, when we spend money, we're going to spend money intelligently on the best deals, the best versions of those deals that are available. Okay. And the void pack string in the shop today is the best offer for void shards that you would see commonly. Like it's the one that comes up the most often that is the best deal. And I'm very excited when we finally launch my website, hopefully soon, we're going to have an offers page where I break down and rate all of the offers. So if you're excited about that, leave me a like, leave me a comment. And uh, if you're looking for any MTG Jedi merch, tell me what you'd like to see in the comments below. I need to uh, get my merch set up for my website as well. I was, when I was preparing for this video... I was thinking to myself, okay, well, what epics am I missing? Let me go ahead and make a list. Well, apparently, the only void epic I'm missing is this chick. So, number one, I think she looks amazing. Artwork, awesome. As far as her kit, I I don't know if it's, if it's really worth building her or not. I don't know. I'm curious to see what your thoughts and our, our opinions are on her, just because I don't have her. Another fun fact, I am missing apparently a bunch of normal epics, like 15 of them. That was shocking to me. But uh, in the, uh, you know, 90s kid here growing up on Pokemon, obviously I want to catch them all, which is basically impossible for legendaries. So... Unless you're willing to spend, you know, someone's yearly salary on Raid Shadow Legends, you're not going to get all the legendaries. So, just give that goal up. But, getting all the epics is an achievable goal. It, it definitely is. And so, I would like to work towards that. Uh, Sir Artemage is one of the ones I'm missing. I'm not going to go through all the factions and tell you what all the epics I'm missing. Uh, but... Uh, there are a couple that would be really still good. Like, Miscreated Monster, I would st probably still build. I love that champion. He's amazing. Uh, a couple other ones I would build as well, but, um, yeah, but yeah, so missing a surprising number of epics. But today is Void 2X, and we have 78 Void Shards, okay? Now, what would I love to pull from Voids? I guess I'm gonna have to say at the top of my list would be Krisk. And the reason why is because he makes the Hydra so much more manageable, okay? Because on his passive here, he places the shield, um, but he also places the decreased attack and decreased defense. Every time. Every time he's hit. Every time. So, I, I, I mean, obviously, Krisk is amazing. And I think that, you know, he's just one of those champions that will completely revolutionize your account. Uh, there are plenty of other Void Legendaries that I would love to have and love to mess around with on my account. Um, I would say... Who... Oh, oh, Rio is, is at the top of my list. I really love her. But Yumiko would be the number two champion, Okay. Yumiko, I was just literally thinking today how amazing she would be in my Doom Tower team. Uh, plus, I love her and her fusion brother, or wait, boyfriend? Husband? How are they related? Um, anyway, <laughs> Corrado, they, they love each other, right? Right? Anyway, uh, Corrado Yumiko is an amazing arena team, so I would absolutely love to have her. Plus, she would slot right into my Doom Tower team. So, I would say uh, Krisk and Yumiko will be at the top of my list. But, what we want to do today is we want to pull some freaking shards. And I know that you're excited to see that. Uh, I I should have done the mystery shard thing. We only have 78. Let me be right back. I want to pull some mystery. We 
could have definitely just kept recording here. So we got our penitent, and now we're gonna pull. We got three um, uncommons with the penitent as well. So now we're gonna start pulling void shards. If you have not seen the uh, mystery shard conspiracy theory vi theory videos. Go back and watch those they are good fun but basically there's a conspiracy that we should have done our 10 pull okay well there's a you know there is a rumor going around that if you pull a rare from a mystery shard then that increases your odds of getting a legendary okay and we have believe it or not we've had really good results with that um but if you want the full breakdown in the in the shard playlist that I'll try to I'll try to link that at the end of the video. There's plenty of videos on there where I talk about that, but there's one or two in particular where I dive in deep uh, and go over it. Okay. Now, as far as the shard pulls, um, I don't know mixed results this weekend. Uh, Yurgrim is great. Now we'll get on to the ten pulls, but I didn't actually have to pull that many mystery shards, by the way. I want to say I pulled like a hundred. I almost did a fast pull here. I I don't like doing the fast pulls actually because then you miss the the emphasis of the lightning. But uh, you know, <laughs> it's all good. Two Hawk the Wanderer, actually pretty decent champion. He was pretty clutch for me in Orcs Faction Wars. Definitely an underrated champion, at least for Faction Wars there. And I'm sure he's going to be helpful in uh, secret rooms as well. Okay. So nothing so far. It would be great to pull a legendary. Uh, you know, anytime you have this many void shards, it's kind of like, I feel like you deserve a legendary just for having this many shards. But there's no guarantees, you know what I mean? Golden Reaper, of course you guys know I hate this ep epic champion. She does have an incredibly high base speed, but uh, I have just found her to be very, very bad. Prove me wrong. I know there are some lovers of Golden Reaper out there, but what we want is that gold. Uh, second place would be, yeah! Second place would be Andresia. Uh Genbo, also an incredible champion. Lua, I'm definitely not a big fan of. Runekeeper Dazdirk, a uh, very underrated champion right here. Uh, I <laughs> I forget his kit. And, uh, you know, then <laughs> there's, uh, you know, some... Uh, whenever I forget his kit, I get, I get wrecked by him, basically. But, uh, yeah, very good champion there. We're running out of shards. And obviously, we want to get a legendary here. How were your shard pulls today, guys? How were your shard pulls this weekend? Did you pull something good? And if so, what was it? I've heard a lot of stories about people pulling nothing this weekend. And hopefully, that's not going to be my story here. Um, but there we go. The double cold heart pull. Whisper. Not a big fan of her. I did max her out at one point on my other account. We have 10 shards remaining. Can we please get a Lego in the last 10? All it takes is one, remember, from yesterday's video. All it takes is one. I wish I could donate all of these cold hearts to all of you out there who don't have them. This is going to be that time where we don't get a legendary. Wow. What a beating. Okay, well, I don't want to pull any ancients or sacreds. I do not. Okay, I do not want to pull any Ancients or Sacreds, so let's see where we're at with points. We did get our brand new Andrysia, but that is very disappointing. That is not the, the expectation of my wildest dreams. All I wanted was something, you know what I mean? Where are we at with the Champion Chase? Of course we maxed it out, but we're in third place, which is fine. I mean, the, the LEGO books are very helpful. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to wait until I get my clan boss chests and then I don't know. We'll see. We'll see if another offer pops up, but I definitely do not want to buy this. Definitely do not want to buy this. It is basically these are more than $3 a piece, which is not good. The the void pack string, the void shards are about 250 a piece, plus you get a lot of gems. 
So we've got to be getting pretty close to Mercy, I think. Maybe not. Maybe I'm just wrong about my Mercy tracker. But anyway, let me see. Uh, let me see what's going on, and we'll probably be right back. Part two. Um, I waited until some other packs were put in the shop, uh, uh, just so that I can just like give you a little bit of a rating here. This special offer pack is actually decent. If you put the uh, the five five star chickens at four dollars a piece, which is twenty dollars, which that's the good deals for chickens. Fifteen dollars for the gems. I always do a, a dollar per hundred. One dollar for each of the four star chickens. Then your uh, void shards are barely more than two dollars, like two dollars and twenty five cents per shard, which is actually very good. But yeah, so let's go ahead and collect those and then pull them and hopefully we can get some luck here for the second part of this video and you know we're getting close to pity on a 2x which is pretty absurd pretty absurd come on now polarium i feel like uh i'm not alone in saying the rates on this 2x have seemed lower than usual but, you know, that's just my own bias from pulling shards for myself. I'm way more lucky pulling shards for viewers, which uh, <laughs> is great for you guys. But, uh, you know, uh, I usually end up having to pull a lot more shards in order to get the Legos that I get. But let's see what we can come up with here. Um, hope We have two 10 pulls. So, please, we need something good. We're starting out with rares. That's not good. Um, there are plenty of legendaries that I would love to get. There it is! Oh, Blind Seer. She's actually a champion that I have wanted, but I'm gonna get Mithrala in a couple weeks, and she's just better. Although, she does have the revive. I think I will build her and, and test her out in, uh, in Hydra. Can we go back to back? Can we go back to back, please? It's it's so funny because when I was prepping for this video, I was like, who do I actually want as Void Legendaries? And, you know, like, Krisk, I think, is at the top of the list, but, you know, plenty of other champions, like I said. Okay, no. Well, I mean, we did get Blind Seer. Interesting. Um, And I looked at Blind Seer's kit, and I was like... Okay, so let's go ahead and compare her with Mithrala, right? All right, there we go. So Mithrala has this same thing, ex except, excuse me, it's a cleanse, strengthen, shield. We look at Blind Seer, this is block debuffs, shield. So Mithrala's is like a better version of that, but she does not have the revive, though. This is on a three-turn cooldown, and this is on a three-turn cooldown. So it's the same thing. Okay, but then over here, she has Hex, Increased Defense, Increased Attack, AoE on a three-turn cooldown. And she has the Poisons, plus with the passive and the petrifying nonsense, and an Accuracy in All Battles aura. So, I'm interested to see, can she be used in a Ghost second team in Arena? I don't know. I haven't seen anybody test that. Uh, but Blind Seer has the AoE Revive. So I guess that they're different. It revives all dead allies, places block damage. And then her, just, her A1's not going to do anything. So... Maybe I'll just build both of them. Maybe I'll just build both of them. Well, what do you think about that pull? I don't, how does Blind Seer rank for you guys? I would say she's not a bad champion by any means. I, I think that she's a great champion, but how good is she actually? You know, I, I have some chickens here. Holy crap, 28. Where did we get 28. I was like, I haven't been using my chickens lately, but dang, that's... Okay, we're definitely going to level her up for the champion training um, that starts today? Tomorrow? 
tomorrow. Okay, yeah, we're definitely going to level her up. We'll have to have a game plan on who else we're going to level up. But yeah, Blind Seer is a great champion, I think. She's not the one I wanted, but she is one that I think I'll use. Let me know what you think in the comments below. I hope you enjoyed <laughs> me spending my money for your enjoyment. I appreciate you guys. Have a great day. I'm MTG Jedi. More videos will be popping on screen here. Uh, take a watch. Take a comment below and let me know what other content you'd like to see on the channel. I'd love to make content for what you guys would like to watch. And I'll see you guys in the next video.